life lessons we can learn from the quantization quantuplets. The quantization quantuplets is how I made your mother ask you love story with a surprise ending. Our protagonist is Futaro, who married one of the sisters. Sisters, we never seen her in her wedding day, but she wants she's one of a pair of identical twins. We still don't know for sure who the bride is. Unless you read the manga, of course. In addition to being a love story, the series also has a lot of valuable lessons for viewers of all types. Whether you're a sibling or an an only child, married or single, the show has big truths about what you can do. Yes, you. Don't judge yourself against others. One thing we learned early in the Quasanesha Quantaplus is that each Nakano sister, rather than being fully irresponsible, is just invested in different topics. They will excel in one area. But as identical sisters, they believe they should all be on par with each other. For example, rather than considering Yosuba's athletic ability as a result, as a result of, hard, for hard work, of her hard work, they treat it as a failing on the part of the other four, which isn't true at all. Even when you're not complete, competing against identical siblings, we still have the tendency. Someone else being better than us isn't a sign that they work hard, it's a sign they were lesser. And again, that's not true at all, just like it's not true for the Nakanos. Your hobbies and interests are important. Photobo first cracks into Nakano's low grades by exploring what each of them actually enjoys. Miku, for example, is a massive history nerd, and that's why he keeps our flood grades wise in the Quantum Quantuplets. For person something as a personal hobby, we can sometimes forget how valuable and helpful it can be to us. No hobby is pretty frivolous. Even if all it does is make us happy, that's a lot, but we also educate ourselves via our hobbies, and education doesn't have to be a debt at a test to be worthwhile. Anyone can succeed. After scats and scats of bad grades, it may seem like the Nakanos are just doomed to be bad students, but all of them can achieve whatever they are willing to pursue, whether that's getting better in school or learning to cook. None of us is stuck at the level who we started at. Learning something new or getting better or something you love may just be a matter of getting a helpful tutor. Skills can be trained and obtained and no one can decide for you that you're stuck any anywhere. Is there a way to continue the story of the Quasanesha Quantaplets or doing our best to let photo lessons them sink in for ourselves?